Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. That's who else was from the tribe of Judah? King David was That's from the tribe right. of Judah. That's Daniel, right. Daniel the prophet was from the tribe of Judah. King Solomon, the wisest man that ever walked the face of this earth after Christ, was from the tribe of Judah. Bring it up. That is y'all great history that has been hidden from y'all brothers. That's right. They took that away from you in slavery and called you nigger. Right. Gave you their last names to this very day to keep y'all disconnected from y'all true history. Bring it up. Genesis 49. Bring it up. Yeah, give me two. Genesis chapter 49, verse 8. Sorry, verse 1. Verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I might tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So what's happening here is Jacob, okay, our forefather Jacob, you know, you had Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. When you look on the sign on the left, these are the 12 sons of Jacob and who they are in the earth today. Right. So Jacob was on his deathbed. He gathered all of his sons together and said, my sons, let me tell y'all what's going to happen in the last days. So based off of these prophecies, that's what we know what son is which, which tribe is who. Y'all following me? You follow? All right. Now we talk about specifically Judah or the so-called African-Americans. This is how we know that we are from the tribe of Judah. Give me that verse 8. Verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. So the Bible says that Judah, ye are him whom thy brethren shall praise. So let's just examine that right quick. Did y'all ever uh, uh, notice everything in the earth that the so-called American blacks do? Everybody in the earth does it. Teach. We the trendsetters. All the other tribes do it. The so-called African-American want to play basketball, and everybody else in the earth want to play basketball. So-called black African-American want to turn his hat to the back, that becomes now the new fashion in the earth. That's, That's right. why the Bible says that you you are the ones that thy brethren shall praise. Right? Judah means praise of God. That's, right. That's what it actually means. Read. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. So the Bible says thine hand shall be in the neck of of your enemies. Give me that, your enemy in Deuteronomy 28. That's right, bring it up. I'm gonna show you who your enemy is. I'm gonna make it very clear. So let's examine that. I wanna ask you, bro, if your hand is in the neck of your enemy, my hand on your neck, right, what, what are we doing? We fighting. So the Bible prophesies that Judah's hand will be in the neck of his enemies. Bring it up. Right? And also to have your hand on the neck of your enemies, what does that mean? That y'all gotta be in the same land. So spiritually, it's showing you that the tribe of Judah is going to be right there with his enemy. Jeez. Look at all the other tribes. Jamaica, they got their land. Or, you know, they got Jamaica. Haiti got Levi. Haiti, they got uh, Haiti. The Haitians got Haiti. Mexican right. got Mexico. But some, but Judah, he right here in Babylon the Great. Right here in America with the so-called white Bring man. it up. Which, which is the devil according to the Bible. That's right. That's why the Bible say that Judah, his hand will be in the neck of his enemies. He will be fighting from, from justice, for equality, right? How was we fighting our enemies? Bring it out. Denmark Vest, Matt Turner, Gabriel Prosper. Okay, we continue to fight our enemies out. Uh, Civil Rights Movement, Black Panthers, Martin Luther King. That's Judah with his hand in the neck of his enemies. We continue to fight in this land against our oppressor, right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 
Verse 48. So this is addressing who our enemy is. Because you may be thinking, the enemies is the BDs. The enemies is the GDs that stay right over here two blocks away from me. The enemies is the vice lords. Right. No, brother, that's not your enemy. The enemy is the same man that killed George uh, Floyd. Right. Your right. enemy is the same man that put your survival on your neck. Right. Man. Not your brother. And you ain't figured that out yet. Teach. Right. Your enemy is the same man that shot and killed Tamir Rice. Teach. That's your enemy, but yet you want to lock hand in hand and march with him, though. Yes, and then be so quick to kill your brother and hate your brother. Bring Let's see who our enemy is according to the Bible. Read. Verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. So the Bible said we're going to serve who? Thine enemy. So the Bible said that we're going to serve our enemies, right? Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. So with hunger, we want something to eat. When we thirsty and we need clothing, we have to go to our enemy. Read. And in nakedness. And in, right, our clothing. And in want of all things. Anything you want, you have to go to your enemy. If you want a driver's license, birth certificate, death certificate, who we gotta go to? The white, the so-called right. white man. Esau. Esau. Read. And he, and, and now with that he is singular or plural, brothers? He. He is singular. It's talking about a particular enemy now. A particular man, he, meaning singular. He shall do what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hey, officer, can I get that visual right quick, please? I want y'all brothers to see this. Right now, we are identifying to you in 2020 who your enemy is. Right. According to the Bible. Y'all see this visual right here? Yeah. Who, bro, who put your survival on our necks? Esau. What did the Bible say Esau is? Esau and Ishmael. And Ishmael. But who, but look, over here in 2020, the white man did this. So according to the Bible, the God calls us, calls them our enemies, bro. That's right. Our enemies did this to us. An uh, enemy would not sell your whole family away and slam you. That's right. That would not do that. Right. All right. It said, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who is this talking about? Did this happen to the Chinese? Did this happen to the damn Dutch? Did this happen to Arabs? It happened to you. Right. Because you are the Israelites. This whole Bible is talking about in Genesis to Revelation. That's right. Read on. Until. Until. He have destroyed thee. Until he, your enemy, have destroyed you. Do we got yokes of iron on our necks today? No, do we have physical yokes of iron on our necks today? Why? Because we are destroyed. We are destroyed. We destroy it to, to the fact, to the point that when we want justice, we want equality instead of turning to God, we go right back to the man that killed us and say, please, please give me justice. Please, please, please give me peace. And then loot our own damn stores in the grocery store. Loot our own damn stores in our own neighborhood and then wake up the next morning like, damn, I need some milk. I can't go to the store. Where the hell am I going? I don't know. Until he have destroyed thee. Right. Go back to Genesis 49. So that scripture I wanted to show you to prove to you who your enemy is. It's not each other. The Bible tells us to gather ourselves together. That's right. The Bible says that you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. That's me and you. You understand? Read 49 and uh, verse 8. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Verse 9. Judah is a lion's wealth from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. So the Bible is describing the tribe of Judah as a lion's wealth, right? From the prey, thou art gone up. For example, y'all ever seen a lion when it's about to attack? You understand? When it's about to attack? So we was, right, it's creeping up. We were about to attack when? In the 60s, right? With the civil rights movement, uh, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, that was our people rising up. Black Panthers stirring up. Marcus Garvey. Okay, read on. From the, from the, from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. When the lion stooped down, he about to what? He about to prounce, he about to attack. So that's what the Bible is saying the tribe of Judah did. Because it looked like we was about to attack, like we was about to prounce, take this whole place over when? In the 60s with the Civil Rights Movement. That's why I say Mount Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, the Black Panthers. We was unifying as a people. It looked like we was about to rise up and attack. Right? That's why I say he stooped. Read. He couched as a lion. He crouched as a lion and he was on the up, he was on the rise. Read. And as an old lion. And then he became an old lion. Meaning he fell asleep. He laid back down. Drugs came in. 
gang banging came in. Government we job. gave up the fight as a nation of people. That's the tribe of Judah, bro. Free. Who shall rouse him up? So the Bible says, who's gonna now rise up Judah? Who's gonna stand up against the evil that's going on in the earth? Who is gonna take back the preeminence in their community? That's right. Who is gonna unite our people and tell us that we are the children of God? That black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, you are the intellect according to the Bible. That's right. That it's time to return back to the Lord, your God. Right. Keep the commandments. Your trust is not in America. Your trust is not in Babylon the Great. Right. Stop holding hand in hand with your enemy and your oppressor. Right. right. Come back to the Lord and keep God's commandments. That's right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.